Okay, good to have you back. Still rolling on Good Morning Anambra this Thursday. And the second segment, we're going to look at um, um, another topic, and that is uh, women in data. And uh, we already have somebody who has joined us to look at that, because I'm sure you are wondering, what does that mean? <laughs> Oh, how's somebody that was spent to you? She is Mrs. Obiama Onukube. Mrs. Obiama is the founder of Data Science Premium uh, Solutions. Solutions. Okay. Welcome, ma. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. You look good. And it's good to have you here. Thank you. My okay. pleasure. Okay. Now that we are here, could you please uh, tell us exactly what you mean by women in data science? Thank you for having me on the program. You're welcome. Um, women in data science was initially um, initiated at Stanford University, USA. It's a global event. The essence of the event is to, the first, it was first held uh, in 2015, November. The aim and uh, the objective is to encourage and inspire women to be part of this decision making that governs our lives today. And if you look at it, you find out if you look at our posters, you observe that we have the speakers to be solely women. Um, Before we get to that, uh, it said that for women to be part of decisions that governs them. What the, kind that of decision? governs our lives. That, go that governs our lives like yes. um, water. Uh, water. You know, in, in politics, in medicine, in every field of uh, endeavor, uh, you find out, uh, in, even in industries, it is based on the data science and the decision that is you know, extracted from it data. that gives rise to the, those decisions that is being made you know, to ensure that those things are being, you know, taken yes, to the next level. Specifically, so that we understand uh, this data very well, when we talk yes. about data science, yes. um, virtually in every field of endeavor, we'll talk about data. Yes. We talk about um, statistics. Mm -hmm. Now, can you explain to us what, what you mean or your group mean by women in what that data science mean, actually? Does it mean is an emerging field or... Um, Something that someone does without even knowing it. No, it's an evolving uh, discipline that centers around acquisition, curation, and analysis of data. Mm -hmm. That is what data science is. And how do you go about these things? We, it's, you, you need to you know, have your raw data before you go into the analysis. So what data science stands for is it has to do with acquisition of the data and the curation, that is implementation yeah, of can it. Can you break a, bit, a little bit? Even all the data science now here and all the yeah. data now, there, okay. So what, what do you mean by data is information about particular issues when uh, they are gathered? Yeah, right? for, me, for instance now, if I tell you that um, we have um, the, crude, the price of crude oil in Nigeria is um, 85 naira per, per barrel. Uh, some $85 per, per barrel, per, per se, that is data. You understand? You've got, you've got the information that the cost of that fuel gives is at so, so, so rate. But when I tell you that the price of crude oil has increased from 80 naira per barrel to probably to, um, say, so, um, 90 naira, on 85 naira. You know there is an increase. So what I'm giving you is called information. It's no longer data. Okay. Do you understand? So let's not go deep. What we are talking mm. about here now is the importance of data science. Mm. We want women to be part of this group. It's a fast growing field now that women are in the minority. Thank God the men have taken the lead. What we are to play. What will happen differently mm. when no, women because become part of it? It's a fast-growing field that requires we, we can't bridge the gap without women being part of it. Mm. 
And what does it require then? It requires the women to, you know, go into the field. Probably you're in the field of uh, statistics or in the field of uh, arts or in the field of um, uh, maybe uh, medicine. You need to know how to analyze your data. The data concerning women or just general no, data? No, general data in the field, in that field you are in, not okay. to, about women. We are okay. not particular about women. But okay, they, you know, because we are looking at the women in data. That's yeah, why it, is called to see. it is called wheat. It is called wheat. Okay. Why it is called wheat is because a, an observation was made. We have about the percentage rate of women in that field all over the world. Mm -hmm. It's just about 10% to 20%. Mm -hmm. And in this part of our own world, women are rarely found in that field. Mm. So the essence is to bring them, tell them, because initially we do have our um, Java and all kinds of, uh, you know, uh, packages in uh, doing analysis. But this time around, we are going to introduce what is called machine learning, using it to analyze our Machine data. learn. Okay. Machine learning. Okay, I know yeah. that you have a program that is coming up in uh, uh, yeah. very uh, oh yeah, coming up this week. So yes. tell us about the program. Yeah, the program is um, it's um, a very unique one, first of its kind. The um, um, we are going to invite all the uh, uh, students. Participants are not only women. Okay. We want to just, you know, let people know that it's not just women. Mm. It is both gender. But what we are advocating is for women to be part of this unique that already field. men are there. And men and are already there. Are you saying there mm. are no women in this particular field you're talking about? There are women, but okay, the percentage rate of the women is quite... quite but but, but what do you think uh, yes. most women are not uh, interested in that field that uh, maybe... Uh, cost that number to be there. Uh, why women most, uh, you know, most women are not in, in that field because, you know, when it comes to calculation, mm. a lot of women do not like the stress of calculation. Mm. But this time around, with a uh, Python notebook, machine learning that is going to be introduced to them. Did uh, you most say Python? Of, yes. It, it, snake. It's not snake. It's not that snake. <laughs> It's not that snake, but that is what the, the, um, the software is the called. Software yeah. is called. It's okay. Python. Yeah. So with that, you have limited, you see, in fact, you do not have uh, much algorithm to actually analyze your data. Is that what you call the learning something? Yeah, like machine learning. Machine learning. Yes. So it comes with, um, uh, it comes with that. Automated. Um, uh, on that, on that, that uh, you come, you, call, you have your, you have, gives you Python on that Python, you have a Jupyter notebook where you can actually type in your, your um, key in your data and do the analysis on it. It's easier than the pre previously what we used to, packages we used to use. Okay, are all this going to happen in this program that you're packaging this Yes, ma'am. Okay, and where is it taking place? It's taking place at Oka here, um, Professor Okuna Legacy Hall, uh, Unizik uh, FM. Okay. That's where the hall is. Okay. And, inside the uh, Nanda Zuki Inside the Nanda Zuki University. We are inviting both. Yeah, I wanted to ask you yeah. who are, I wanted to ask you who and who are invited. Yes, we, will be, we are inviting both industrialists, both academians, and the students because they need it. We find out that uh, most of the times we students do have challenges in doing their, uh, you know, their projects. Mm because of this issue of analysis. But this time around, if we start on time, bridging that uh, gap you know, of their challenges, trying to ensure that they understand the simplest way now, easiest way to you know, go about their data, they can you know, be part of it. And you know, on the graduate level, once you get the basic, before you get to your master level, Yes, you'll be good at it. We're coming back to you. We're coming back to you. Let's take a short break now. We're coming back. Me, I am ready for the party. My watch out is smart. I go go really early. I know where you're stored. I go go here back. To buy material. I go time my delay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I go no say I don't if you see my girl, it go on everybody. Three 
5G is great. 4G is better. You don't know what you're missing till you experience it. Upgrade to a 4G device and SIM. SMS GET to 141 to enjoy double data on Nigeria's widest 4G network. Airtel, the smartphone. Okay, welcome back. We are still rolling with uh, Mrs. Obiyama Onukupe on Data Science Premium Solution. Well, you said that uh, I've, I've asked you who and who are invited, and it's everybody, both uh, male and female. But I've just seen from your, uh, your flyer that the speakers you have here are all women. So why, why that? Why not um, men among them? Thank you. Um, that is what I, I said initially that uh, we want women to be, you know, to, you know, understand that they need to take the bold step to be part of uh, this uh, group. Um, it's a fast growing field. We, why we needed women in that field is that it's, and it's, uh, it, I would say it's, um, it's, a unique field and you have you know time required for your even to take care of your family it doesn't consume most of your time you can sit in your home and do your analysis and send to whoever you you know that is in, is in need of that information you need to send so what we are advocating the men are part of the program we are not uh, excluding men they are part of our program, but we want the women to be speakers, you know, to have that courage. You know, it's, it's not easy to impart. We have uh, women um, lecturers in, the, in our various institutions, but when it comes to the field of data science, we have a limited number of women. women. Yes. Oh, let's talk so. about your membership. Uh, we do not have a membership per se. What we have is uh, what, we, what they call ambassadorship. As, a, as an ambassador, you are requested, like now in Nigeria, we have about five ambassadors in Nigeria. Those ambassadors, you, as, you and your team, you are expected to organize your program, your event. It is called a regional event. About 53 countries. That is where is this... Like it's, it's like a networking something, but in the field of data science. Okay. Oh. But the essence of this is not the normal networking we talk about. It is academic networking. And it gives you the room to, in, you know, to be able to assess you know, vital information you need. As a, as, a, as a professor, as a, you know, industrialist, if you're a member, if we, would, we are not advocating membership now. What we are talking about now is for you to understand the importance of and the need for women to be part yeah, of this. Yes, I, I, yes. I have a question. At the conference, uh, would you be teaching people how to use those softwares or will it just be to motivate them to join the field? Okay, that's a good question. On that day... Uh, it's going, there's going to be a, a topic that has to do with data information and machine, with machine learning. Mm. And that is on that topic that we are going to, you know, move the student, every participant there, you know, probably in different uh, batches to be able to assess the internet by the help of Glow Nigeria Limited. They are going to be part of the program. They are co-sponsors of the program. And they are coming there, they are going to, you know, have a stand to display their product. But when it comes to having access, we want to give that basic foundation. You understand the environment of Jupyter Notebook, how it looks like. So that when we, we are probably at the end of the lecture, we are going to still dig, give out some vital materials for them to, you know, proceed from there. But what we are trying to do for now is for them to have that idea and be able to, uh, everything is going to be free registration is free um uh, you know uh, what about further training if after the, uh, the conference you want to or even the materials that we're mm, giving out, be given out. Uh, on uh, actually the materials that are going to be given out is going to be a soft copy okay, okay. yes this is our median edition so mm -hmm. that's why we are coming out free so that everybody will be part of it mm -hmm. but you know naturally Internationally, 
this program is usually organized free. Okay. The only time you tag money to this event is when probably you failed not to get good sponsors for your program. Then you can attach a little fee for registration. Because you know, in, in our, you know, our region this side, people are not uh, so keen about data. But that is the, the in thing now. Is this the first time it's happening here? And this is Has the first it happened time. any other place in Nigeria? N um, it, uh, it took place on, last, uh, on the 6th of um, April here in Lagos. Okay. They, they've organized it in Lagos with one you, of the ambassadors. You, you, you partnered the uh, Glow too? No. Oh, this is the first time you're partnering Glow? No, no, this is the first time Glow is partnering with something that has to do with data science. Okay. This is their first of its kind. Mm. So that is why we, we are glad they are part of us. Yeah, and we have other, me and Baker is part of the, uh, of the sponsors, and we have uh, ABS. They are part of our sponsors too. And we have uh, Unisic S FM. They are part of our sponsors. And our wonderful friends in Lagos, they are equally part of our so, based on that, finally. finally, can you draw from my constituency? <laughs> <laughs> would, uh, would there be opportunity for women journalists who want to do something in data journalism to also be part of the program? Yes. I got uh, 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 one of our colleagues told me that somebody, you know, as a journalist, is trying to, you know, be part of, uh, wants to be part of our, our team. But, but before the, I got the information, all the prints, we finish everything that has to be we do with uh, printing to include the person's information. And I, I, I couldn't get um, his or her topic, you know, mm -hmm. he, but. There, if you if you're ready with your information, you can we can give you like ten minutes to right. pass your information across. Okay. And it's going yeah. to be a one-day affair. Yes, it's just what time? Day. What time? The time is eight o'clock, mm. uh, to be precise. And uh, by the grace of God, uh, Deputy Governor is a special guest. All right. Okay. Uh, Refresh our memory again yeah. on the on the venue, uh, and then uh, the dates. Just refreshing the Okay, the venue is Professor Okunon Legacy Hall, Unisic FM. Uh, uh, Unisic FM, Oka here. And the time is 8 o'clock. On which day? On the 13th of April. That is this Saturday, 13th of April. Please avail yourself of this wonderful opportunity. You will not regret to be part of this program. All right. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Thank, Thank you. you. Mrs. Obioma Onukube found that data science premium solution. Well, thank you very much for joining us this morning. Thank you so much. And uh, I hope you know I'm an ambassador. I'll be there too. Yes. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay. Thank you. I've been around with Dave Opokwasley. Mm, thank you for joining us on Good Morning Anambra today. Be the best you can in whatever you do. Dialogue. Yes, thank you very much. The Good Morning Anambra team, the cameraman, the ops director, MCR guys, producer, and uh, the executive producer has been a very wonderful outing this morning. I thank you very much for making it happen. My name is Ijoma Ijoma Uche. We'll see you tomorrow morning. <laughs>